Hi, today I'll be taking you through the platform, how to set up your profile and the different features between the different levels of upgrades. So soon you'll receive your welcome email. I'll be logging in as a free user to begin with. On this welcome email, you will be sent to the email you registered with. You'll need to enter that here. Add in the registration ID, which you will find in your email. Create a password and this will enter you into your account. So the first stage is it will just be completing your profile. You're welcome to connect to your LinkedIn. This will just draw your basic information, so your name and your profile image, which is quite handy if you don't have one on your laptop already. If you don't want to connect to LinkedIn, press next. If you do, take you through and it will take you through the exact stages. You can then consent to intelligent matchmaking. This just uses your data to provide you with some matches in your recommendations and interested. Once you're happy, you can start networking. First of all, I'll take you through to your profile section. So this is where you can update your details. As you can see, you can update your first name, last name, your headline. This will be the um, text that is shown next to your profile, which the other users will see as a first impression. Your job title, company, location, and you can write a short summary about yourself. You can also add an image here if you didn't do this on the onboarding stages. Your summary is a great way to sum up exactly what you're looking for throughout the event or just a little bit about yourself. Once you're happy, you can click save. And if you want to view what your profile looks like to other users, you can select this button here. Next, we do recommend managing your availability. This just sets your online calendar so that you can check yourself as available or busy throughout the event. As a free user, you won't be able to have uh, meetings. However, if you upgrade, at any point, you'll want to make sure this is up to date straight away. So you can upgrade this as a free user and it will carry over if you then do upgrade your account. All you need to do is select the times you're busy and available and then press save to update that. You then do have some admin options here so you can change your email, password and manage your notifications. Next, you can go through to the home page. You can take two actions to get you there, either this button or the logo here. So the area that most users go to straight away is the recommended for you. However, as you can see from this home page, you do have the agenda as quick access. This will be in chronological order and it will always show the top three items. You can do a quick add to schedule here. And you also have a link to upgrade your ticket. But in your recommendations, when you first log in, you will receive around 10 recommendations for you. These will be based off of the um, data you provided, but also just other users within the platform. As you can see, there's different items for different users. So a guest or a free user, at the moment, you will not be able to request a meeting um, or show interest or skip them. However, you can see them in this section. Other users, though, it's a great way to see who else is in the platform. You can see their names. You can see what user they are, if they're a VIP, premium, pro. And you can show interest or skip them. If you show an interest in someone, they will receive a notification up here. It will show them that they are interested in you. As a free user, they won't be able to show an interest in you back just yet or request a meeting. However, it will stay in their, in their interested in you list. So this means that you will stay there. If you then decide to upgrade your account, they will be able to take that action on you. If you want to skip a user, you can simply press this button. Don't worry, it is anonymous and it just goes, it hides them into your skip section here. So at any point you can go back and unskip this user by a button just here. In your interest list, you will keep them there. So this is people that you have interested. So as we mentioned, as a free user, you can't physically send meeting requests to each other. This is a function that is saved for upgraded users. However, if you do decide to upgrade your account, as soon as you do that, you will then be able to see, go back into your interested list and see a request meeting button. I'll show you exactly what that looks like in a moment on a premium account. However, they will sit in here, they won't disappear throughout the event. So if you want to upgrade, if you collated a really great view of people that you're really interested in meeting with, you don't worry, you won't lose them. You'll be able to connect with them once you upgrade. You also have a connections. This is when two users have interested each other. So again, this is a function, all of the networking functionalities are really 
upgraded features. But once you have got a connection, they will sit in here. So once a user has interested you and you've interested them, they will become a connection and you can chat with each other and request a meeting. And finally, you're interested in you section. So this area lists any details of people who are interested in you. At the moment, as a free user, you won't be able to have anyone in this section. However, as soon as you upgrade, chances are you're going to have a lot of users that are going to sit in this section and you can take action on them from there. Next, we'll move on to the event agenda. So the fantastic thing about being a free user is you have full access to the event agenda within this platform. You can see here, you can filter through from the dates, the different themes and the location. If you want to see a bit more about a session itself, you can click on it and then you can add it to your schedule if you are interested. Once you've added that to your schedule, it will sit just here. And as soon as about five minutes before the session is about to start, it will send you across a notification and an, a notification here to appear telling you what type of session it is so a live stream or a recorded session and you can watch it embedded in this platform you've also got some lists here so you've got the full speaker list so you can see the list of all these speakers who are attending the event you can click on them to see a little bit further information about themselves once the event has started, likely that these speakers' profiles and all the other uh, profiles are going to have a lot more data in them. You'll be able to see a lot more about each user. Again, you've got the same calls to action. You can skip an interest and you can also filter through. You have the same here with a list of attendees. So as we mentioned at the moment on your, on your profile, you have some updates on here. Once you upgrade, there is further information you can do, which enhances your uh, profile. It enhances the way that the AI system match makes you. So it is really worth looking at the upgrade packages that are available. To do this, you can either use the um, upgrade button on the home feed, which will appear here, or you can upgrade your account through this banner. If you click on it, it will take you straight through to a separate page. You can see details of all the different packages that are available. At the moment, you're a free user, but you can upgrade to premium. If you upgrade to premium, this is the one that is obviously the best value. So I'm gonna show you the details on here as it really does enhance all of the key features that we can offer. So you can secure your premium seat by here. You just enter your full name, your email address. The one thing that's really important to note here is that you use the same email address you use to register with. If you use a different email address, it will still work. However, all of the interests and skips and anything like that, anything you've added to your event agenda won't appear on your new profile. This is because it won't link to the profile that you've been using as a free user. If you want to check what you email you've been using, just go back onto here, go onto your profile and change email address. And that will show you the email you've been using or go on your emails and find your registration details. Again, we can't stress how important this is to make sure none of your data has been lost. You can then add some further questions. And once you've gone through everything on here, you can accept that you're happy to keep in touch, accept the terms, conditions, and then enter the payment details. And it's as simple as that. It will almost be in real time that your upgrade will take place. Once that happens, you will be able to, your account will be upgraded to either pro, premium or VIP, and your profile will look a little bit different. So when you then log into the platform, this is me on a premium account. So the first thing you can see is that the profile section looks a little bit different. You can see here, we still got the same basic details, but we also have some optional add-ons that you might want to do. So what you're, the reason you're attending, you can then click update and these will show on your profile. You can either type your own or select other. How did you hear about the show? And again, you've got a summary. We recommend if you upgrade to a premium account that you do fill this in as, um, as best you can to the most relevant you can. This data is actually used by our AI to make sure that you are meeting the best people possible within the platform. So it will actually match you on these reasons 
to other users. So once I'm happy with everything on here, I can click save. You can see the profile has been updated successfully. And we can see now that the details are actually on here. So it just makes your profile look a little bit more full and more inviting for other users to request meetings with you. On the recommended for you, you can see here, we've got the same list. However, we've got an additional functionality. So we've already gone through show interest and skip, but you can now request a meeting. You can request a meeting with premium speakers and pro accounts. If you want to request a meeting with a user, you can click on the day and the time that you're available. This is where your calendar becomes um, into effect as it will only show up dates and times where you are both available. You can select a meeting room and add a personal message. If you want to add a personal message, it's something we really do recommend doing. It increases acceptance rates by 30%. And obviously when you're sending out these requests, you do want people to respond to them. So same as you would in a face-to-face uh, -face event, you want to make sure that you are introducing yourself. A quick hello is usually good enough and a bit of additional text. So that meeting has now been scheduled. You can see that this person has not responded. I can cancel and I can reschedule. So this is gonna sit in my schedule here. This is where all of the um, sessions from the agenda, event agenda have sat as well. So if I add a couple of sessions in here, you can see that this is really your online platform calendar. So you'll have all of the meetings that you've had on here. You've got all of the sessions and it's in chronological order. You can also filter through this. Once this meeting is close to the time it has, five minutes beforehand, a open virtual meeting room button will appear. Once this has appeared, you can click on it. It will take you through to the meeting and a one-to-one uh, -one video call will begin. It will be very similar to anything you've been on before, such as Zoom or Google Hangouts. You'll be able to mute your microphone, hide your camera, chat with the person and see their profile details. These are gonna be 30 minute meetings. You can stay on them for longer. The room won't kick you out. However, if you close up once the meeting time has finished at 12, you won't be able to reopen it. Of course, you can, after this has happened, you can request a new meeting if you want to carry on speaking to them. Any of the chat history that you have had during the time in the meeting will also appear afterwards. So as I mentioned, you've got a section called My Connections. Anywhere, anyone who you've had a meeting with or anyone who has interested you and you've interested them back will sit in here. You will then have the functionality to be able to chat with them. All of your chats will sit in here and any new ones will come up with a notification. This is fantastic to keep a record of everyone you've uh, been in touch with throughout the event. And it also means you can go back in and request meetings with them if you have more to discuss. All of these actions do trigger notifications and emails. So if you send a, if you receive someone who's interested in you, if you receive a meeting request, they will come through as a notification that you can click on. As we said, the meetings will sit in your agenda. These will also sit in your agenda for anyone who has sent you a meeting request. So if someone sent you a meeting request, it will sit here and it will ask you to accept, decline or reschedule this. As we said, we've got a couple of different upgrade packages. So it is really worth having a look to see what's going to work best for yourself. If there's any questions, you can of course get in touch with the event organizers and contact them further about more in depth detail about what each of these packages do promote. However, we do recommend as a free user, you are limited on the networking. You do have a fantastic access to the event agenda. However, we all know that the reasons why most of you are going to be attending this event is to make new connections and network between other users who are attending. So it is as simple as that. If you have any questions, contact the event organizer or contact the support page, which you will find a link to. And again, we hope you really enjoy the event. Thank you.